after wearing black <clears throat> all day on set, do you la do you try to avoid that color when you're not in costume? Um, Miss Catherine. Miss Catherine, unfortunately, black seems to suit me more than any other color. Um, <laughs> uh, I I try not to wear black, but I end up choosing black more than anything else. This is from Dreamer. 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 Yeah, Dreamer. Okay. What was one of your favourite scenes to film so far? In anything. Yeah. Well, no, no Robin Hood. Let's say Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Gosh, that's really hard. Yes, I, I think one of my favourite scenes to film in Robin Hood was the sequence in series one with which involved the journey of the necklace and the disc, you know when uh, Guy of Gisborne uh, accuses Marion of having the necklace in her room I just think there were so many there were so many shifts and things changing in that scene that was uh, yeah that was a that was a good scene it was like a little mini play within within one scene this is for M A Micah how do you feel about Guy? Do you like to play him or do you despise him? No, I really like playing Guy. I think he, I think that, that there's a bit of a damaged soul there that, that has some salvation. Uh, I don't admire everything that he does, but but I have learnt to understand him. I'm quite defensive of Guy, actually. This is I Must Be Adopted. Which Shakespeare character does Guy most resemble in your opinion? Shakespeare character that Guy most resembles, I I think it's Richard III, uh, which is possibly why I've developed a desire to play that character as well. Yeah. Emerald Cunard. Sir Guy's usual mood is a kind of brooding anger, but obviously he has tremendous moments of light and shade. Are there any facet of Sir Guy you find more difficult than others? Is it harder to play his vulnerability than his volcanic temper? Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's, good of that that's good. Um, <laughs> yes, I think the hardest bit of guy to play is when is when he's being humiliated by the sheriff because his guy's view of himself. I think there's quite a lot of vanity there. I think he believes that he's something. Uh, quite majestic and then when the sheriff is is sort of stripping him down it, it gets to that real vulnerable place that um that he hates to be and i think he feels so uncomfortable in his skin that's when guy is very hard to play this is cheryl t just wanted to ask <clears throat> how does it feel to have an action figure it's a little sort of doll thing made in the likeness of your character sir guy and do your family and friends take the mickey out of you for it um, having an action figure is quite strange but I'm placated by the fact that I don't think it really looks anything like me um, but it's nice to have a, a superposable horse to go with it because when I'm not in Hungary I can practice my horse riding at home um, this is from Don Lestaffs do you think Guy can love someone in the truest sense or will obsession and desire ultimately always win over? I'm not sure yet if Guy can love somebody in the truest sense without becoming obsessed, because I don't think that he's experienced any much love in return. So when, when the little bits of it do come towards him, I think he grabs onto it really hard. Um, but we'll see. Who knows? This is from... Stefania, why don't you tell, tell her how wonderful Jonas is? Yeah, Jonas is, is brilliant to work with. It's, I mean, most of the time when, when Richard and Jonas are working together, we are fighting. So it's good to have somebody that, that's uh, a good sport. And uh, yeah, he's up for it. He's a hard worker. And, and uh, you know, that fight sequence in, in episode one took, you know, two or three days to shoot. But, you know, he's a good laugh. This is from Royal Nonsuch. Guy's scenes with the sheriff are always intriguing, especially the awkward ones. Has Keith Allen ever taken you by surprise in the filming of those scenes? Keith Allen takes me by surprise every every second of the working day. So um, 
yeah, I think that probably has some effect on, on the scenes with, uh, with Guy and the Sheriff. Last question from Ruthie. If Guy was a real man and alive today, what do you think his chosen profession would be? That's really hard. God, I, th- I don't want to say something boring now. What would he be? I suppose he'd be... Okay, if Guy was a real man today, his chosen profession would be... I think he'd be trying to marry one of the royals, but he would be... He'd be like... Uh, perhaps he'd be a bit of a James Hewitt. Is, the, is James Hewitt a chosen profession? <laughs> yeah. His chosen profession would be James Hewitt. 